So we're solving radical equations, and when we have more than one radical, the first thing we want to do is to isolate it. So we start off, we're going to have 3x plus 5 is equal to radical 7x minus 3. And just remember, family, the goal is to get rid of the radicals. So this is why we square it. So we have 3x plus 5 is equal to 7x minus 3. Once we start combining our like terms, we'll have 5 is equal to 4x minus 3. And then from here, we'll get 8 is equal to 4x. And then once we divide, we're going to get x is equal to positive 2. Now, if you want to double check to determine if this is an extraneous solution or not, we just need to substitute 2 back into our original equation for x and then simplify. So once we do that, we're going to have... So what we notice is that when we simplify the radicals, we're going to have radical 11 minus radical 11, which is going to be 0 is equal to 0. So this would be a true statement for this radical equation.